Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Linear app, especially if you're just starting out. Linear is a powerful tool designed to help teams streamline software development, project management, and product roadmaps. Whether you're working on managing issues, tracking progress, or setting up cycles, Linear has all the features you need to make your workflow seamless. In this video, I'll show you how to sign up for Linear, give you a quick overview of the workspace, and guide you through creating your first project. Let's dive in and get started. If you're not already familiar with Linear, let me give you a brief overview. Linear is a purpose-built tool for planning and building products. It's widely used by modern software teams to streamline project management and issue tracking. What makes Linear stand out is its sleek design, intuitive user interface, and powerful features like automation and integrations with other tools. It's ideal for teams that value productivity and efficiency. Now, let me show you how you can sign up for a Linear account. The process is straightforward and I'll guide you step by step. First, go to linear.app. On the homepage, you'll see a clean and minimalistic design. Click the sign up button located at the top right corner of the screen. Once you do that, you'll be taken to the sign up page where you can choose how to sign up. There are three different options to sign up. You can sign up with Google, email, and even SAML SSO. For this tutorial, we'll go with Google. So choose the account and sign up with it. Once you sign up, you will need to create your first workspace. On this page, you just need to fill in a few details to set up your workspace. First, give your workspace a name, something like My Team Workspace. Next, the URL for your workspace will automatically be created based on your workspace name. Lastly, choose where you want your data to be hosted, such as European Union. When you're done, click the Create Workspace button. Your linear workspace will now be ready to use. Next up, personalize your account by following the on-screen instructions. Once you do, you'll be directed to your brand new account. Now, let's take a look at the linear account interface. On the left-hand side, you'll notice a vertical menu with options designed to help you efficiently manage your projects and tasks. At the top of the menu, you'll find Inbox. This is where notifications and updates on tasks or issues assigned to you appear, helping you stay up to date with your team's activity. Below that is My Issues, which provides a personalized view of all the tasks or issues you're currently responsible for involved in, making it easy to track your progress. Next, in the Workspace section, there are tabs like Projects, Views, and more. The Projects tab shows all the ongoing projects, helping you stay on top of what's being worked on. The Views tab allows you to create custom filters for tasks so you can focus on what matters most. The More tab provides additional options like team members and customized sidebar. Under the Your Team section, you'll see your team-specific options. At the bottom, there are options like Import Issues, Invite People, and Link GitHub. These features let you bring in tasks from other tools, add team members, or connect Linear with GitHub for better collaboration and version control. That's a quick and easy overview of the linear interface. Hey, quick interruption. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life, or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We develop top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization, and optimize your financial management. Click the link down in the description of this video to check it out. All right, back to the video. Now let's talk about how to create an issue in the Linear app. Before diving into the process, you might be wondering what an issue in the Linear app actually is. In simple terms, an issue in Linear is a task or item that needs attention or action. It could be a bug to fix, a feature to develop, or even a general to-do item from your team. Issues help you organize your work, assign responsibilities, and track progress in a streamlined way. To create a new issue, click on the Create New Issue symbol located at the top left corner of the screen, right next to the search bar. This will open a pop-up window where you can input all the details about the issue. The pop-up window is divided into several sections. At the top, you'll find the issue title field where you can type the name or description of the issue. Below this, there is an add description field where you can provide more context or details about the issue, such as steps to reproduce a bug or specific requirements for a task. Towards the bottom, you'll see the status section, which is is set to do by default. You can change this to other status 
services like in progress or done based on the issue's workflow. Next to this, there are options to set the priority, assign the issue to a specific team member using the assignee field, and add additional details through the menu with the three dots for due dates or sub issues. If you need to create multiple issues in one go, toggle the create more option at the bottom right. Once you've filled in all the required fields, click the create issue button to save it. And that's it. Your issue will now be added to Linear and be ready to track. Now let me show you how you can create a new project in the Linear app. To create a new project in Linear, click on the projects option under the workspace section in the left menu. This will take you to the project page where you can see your existing projects. If it's your first time creating a project, the page will be empty as no projects have been created yet. To start a new project, click the create new project button. This will open a pop-up window where you can input the details of your project. Now, let me walk you through this window step by step. At the top of the pop-up, you'll see the project name field. Here, you can type in the name for your project. For example, you might write website redesign or marketing campaign. Below this, there's a short summary field where you can provide a brief overview or goal of the project. Use this space to describe what the project is about or what you aim to achieve. Further down, you'll find a series of tags and options to customize your project. The status field is set to backlog by default, but you can change it to other statuses like in progress or completed as needed. You can also assign a priority level to indicate how urgent or important the project is. Additionally, you can assign a lead or members to the project, specifying who will be responsible for managing or contributing to it. There are also fields for dependencies, start date, target date, and milestones. These help you break down the project into manageable steps and set clear timelines. For instance, you might set the start date as today and the target date as one month later. At the bottom of the pop-up, there's a larger text box labeled write a description, a project brief, or collect ideas. This is where you can provide more detailed information about the project. You can outline the scope, add initial thoughts, or note down any specific requirements. Once you've filled in all the necessary details, click the Create Project button to save it. Your new project will now appear on the project page, ready for tracking and collaboration. Linear is a purpose-built tool for planning and building products. It's widely used by modern software teams to streamline project management and issue tracking. What makes Linear stand out is its sleek design, intuitive user interface, and powerful features like automation and integrations with other tools. It's ideal for teams that value productivity and efficiency. And that's it for this tutorial. Today, we covered how to create an account in the Linear app, walked you through the account interface and discussed the main features. We also talked about how to add issues and projects in the Linear app. Hope this tutorial made everything clear and easy to follow. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with the Linear app, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.